Hello Troop 308. This is a first. We're going to have our Court of Honor via YouTube. So uh, today is November 15th, 2020. And we're going to start off with some advancement and then we'll go on to um, some upcoming events. We'll talk about our recharter for the 2021 um, Scout year. And then finally we'll end with some special recognitions. Um, I wish we could be meeting in person and perhaps at our next Court of Honor we will be able to do that. Um, we're going to do everything we can as a troop to stay active and safe. Um, we'll have meetings uh, in person, masks are mandatory going forward, and when we can we're going to do outdoor activities. Um, no meeting tomorrow night. We're going to be, uh, this Court of Honor was supposed to take place uh, in, in place of our meeting on Sunday afternoon, but we're going to do, um, do it via YouTube, but uh, we don't have anything planned for tomorrow, so you've got the day off. Although I'd encourage you to work on some advancement at home and take a look at your uh, requirements that you need to do for your next rank. So starting off with some merit badges, we're going to start with Mason Moyer. Mason has earned his canoeing and engineering merit badges. And I think the canoeing was uh, done at the summer's trip in, uh, in June on the Iowa River. Several scouts got that merit badge. Next, we've got Merrick Jablonski for merit badges. I want to recognize him. He's been working hard on, on finishing up his advancement toward Eagle. Merrick has earned his camping, his citizenship in the community, hiking merit badge, and personal management. So that completed everything that he needed to do to get his Eagle, and we'll be uh, mentioning that a little later again. The next merit badge is uh, earned is by John Schoenfelter, and he has earned his canoeing merit badge. And that was on, during our July camp out where we had um, four scouts working on that merit badge with me at a private pond and they worked uh, very hard during, during that merit badge. Um, Colin Jablonski earned his merit badge for canoeing on that same weekend. Next we've got Gavin Jablonski and Gavin has earned his personal fitness and canoeing merit badges. Now we'll go into our rank advancement. Uh, Tynan Telford earned his uh, scout rank. This was actually earlier this year. Uh, we just haven't had a court of honor to recognize him, so we want to acknowledge his advancement on, on scout rank. Same with uh, Declan Green. Declan has earned his scout rank as well. Going to our next rank is scout of, uh, of the rank of Tenderfoot, and this is Jacob Erickson. He actually earned this last December, um, but we haven't had a, a court of honor yet in 2020 to give him a, a special recognition. He's already earned it, he got his patch. Um, another scout who earned Tenderfoot rank, this was also in December of last year, is um, Ethan Gale. Ethan's earned um, Tenderfoot rank and he's got his patch. Another scout who's earned his Tenderfoot rank also December of last year was Austin Green. Austin's also worked on a couple merit badges and he has earned his pioneering merit badge and fishing merit badge. Congratulations Austin. Kyan Gilbertson earned his tenderfoot rank. That was also December of 2019 and he's earned his canoeing merit badge. He was one of my students in the uh, class we did at the July camp out. We have uh, Trey Misik next, and Trey has earned his tenderfoot rank. That was December of last year. And we have that, um, he's already received his patch. Just giving him special recognition tonight. Our newest tenderfoot scout is Isaac Scales. Isaac earned, earned his uh, tenderfoot rank. Let me just show you what that looks like. And he earned that just um, in November, earlier this month. Congratulations, Isaac. Now we'll step up to our next rank, and that's second class scout. Jam Jameson Dungan earned this uh, second class rank in December of last year, and he also earned canoeing merit badge at the June camping trip on, or canoe trip on the uh, Iowa River. Colin Jablonski earned first class rank 
He's received his patch. He earned this actually in September of 2019. Congratulations, Colin. And Colin is now our current senior patrol leader. Our next rank we've stepped up to is star rank. And the recognition goes today to Rowan Jelkin for earning a star rank. He earned that in July of this year. He also had his tender, or first class rank that was December of last year. On merit badges, he's earned canoeing and personal fitness. So there's two good eagle, or one eagle required merit badge there with um, personal fitness. Congratulations, Rowan. Moving up in the rank scale, we've got life rank. And the recognition now goes to Javi Nunez for earning his life rank. He's also earned cooking merit badge, citizenship in the community, and canoeing merit badge. And canoeing was um, this summer as well. Our next rank advancement recognition is for Creighton Henley. Creighton has earned his life rank. He earned this at uh, December of last year. And merit badges, he's earned camping merit badge, communications merit badge, and cooking. And I know he worked on some while he was at summer camp this summer, and hopefully we can get those squared away and we can get those credited to him. Our last rank advancement we want to uh, pay, re pay recognition to is to Merrick Jablonski. Merrick is uh, now an Eagle Scout, and here's his Eagle presentation kit. We will um, let Merrick have the Eagle patch if he wishes, and then next spring, uh, the family is planning a eagle ceremony for Merrick, so that will be a special event that we will all be invited to, I'm sure. So that concludes our advancement recognition. I wanted to talk a little bit about advancement too. With this time of COVID and uh, not maybe being able to come to meetings or, or uh, not being sure if it's something you should be doing, you can work on advancement at home. Um, there's plenty of advancement in the tenderfoot, second class, and first class ranks that you can earn at home and work on. Um, also, you can work on some merit badges. There are several merit badges. Plus, if you're interested, there are some online uh, merit badge classes that, that pop up now and then. Um, if you're interested in those, we can get you um, tied in to some of those activities too. So um, just let me know if you're interested in working on a merit badge at home so we can get you started and get on the right right path. We want to make sure that all the requirements are followed. Uh, we don't do shortcuts um, and it's done, done correctly. Next, we want to talk about some upcoming events. Um, for the next few meetings we've got in November, we've got November 23rd. That'll be, we'll, we'll be working on first aid for both the, sec, or the tenderfoot and second class ranks. On November 30th, we plan that we're going to have CPR instruction. I'm working on lining that up um, so we can not be certified in CPR, but we'll have exposure to CPR and, and enough that if it were to come to, come to be needed, um, hopefully we'd be able to satisfy the need. Um, December 7th meeting, we're going to be outside. We're going to have a campfire and we're going to be cooking um, banana boats bananas, chocolate chips, and marshmallows, and just kind of enjoy time around the campfire. The week following, December 14th, we're going to do a flag uh, retirement ceremony, and that will be outside. We'll get a, a big bonfire going, and we have several flags folks have donated to us to retire and to take care of. If you have a flag or you know of somebody who has a flag that needs to be retired properly, um, bring it. We'll get a big fire going, and we'll conduct the ceremony, and um, it should be interesting. It'll be um, a meaningful event. Uh, finally, we're going to try a Christmas party. Um, the idea that we came up with at the Patrol Leaders Council was that we could do bowling and be socially distant and wear our masks and and um, take care of, you know, have a little fun for an hour or so on, on December 20th. And that will conclude our scout year. Um, we are going to try to get our rockets launched yet this year. Um, some Saturday when it's calm, maybe a Saturday morning or a Sunday evening or something like that, we'll um, find a time to get our rockets out there and get them launched. So keep, keep building them. If you don't have them ready, get them ready and um, we'll launch them. The upcoming events for the year, uh, there's only a couple things planned right now. We have January 15th through the 17th, 
booked for a cabin at Camp Matigua. Now I realize if COVID is still going strong as it is now, we'll probably end up just canceling that. But if, if things change and maybe a vaccine's out or the situation changes a little bit, you know, we can have, we at least have that booked. Um, finally, on December or February 13th, there's the Court of Honor. Um, not a Court of Honor, rather, but a Klondike Derby. We'll be planning that. Um, I think that'll be at Camp Matigua, and that'll be just a day event. And then finally, we're looking at summer of 2021. We don't have anything booked. Um, I'm sure a lot of troops maybe are holding off. It's the same thing, but uh, we want to take a look at that and see if there's something we want to do. Maybe a high adventure trip for some of the older scouts. Um, but we want to try to start thinking forward to 2021 at this point. Um, next, we want to talk about recharter, and that's our time of year when the troop uh, signs up again and, and all the scouts renew their membership. Uh, we don't have to fill out any forms or anything, but you do have to pay a fee for the um, upcoming uh, 2021 year. So the council or the national scouts have raised their fee to $66. The council has added a $10 insurance fee to that, and then our troop dues are $14. So that all comes to $90 for scouts. And if you have money in your account, we can debit that. Otherwise, um, bring a check or cash. I can write a receipt for you if you bring cash. Um, so it's $90 per scout. The adult fees for registered adults, for troop leaders and committee members, $42 for national fees, $10 for the insurance, that's 52. Now the troop has always made a tradition of this for many years of paying half the adult leader fees. Um, so that means $26 is what each adult that's registered will pay. The troop pays the other half of that. If a scout or even a leader wants to subscribe to Boys Life, it's only $12 um, for the year. You get 12 issues. Um, so just let me know if you want to add Boys Life to your registration. We'd like to get that money collected by November 23rd. Mm -hmm. Um, I also realize there may be some scouts who are currently registered for the 2020 year who have decided maybe not to go on to 2021. I just want to, if I haven't heard from you to that fact, um, give me a call, let me know so that we're not trying to find out if you are or aren't going to sign up for 2021. Um, and also, I wanted to let you know that if you felt that you haven't been able to take advantage of scouting as much this year and and you don't want to go on to 2021, but perhaps 2022 or even later in the year after COVID calms down, you can you can sign back up and pick up where you left off. So there's nothing wrong with that um, if that's if that's your choice. I'd encourage you to, to stay on and, and keep the continuity and take part in what events you can when they're outdoors and such. The uh, special recognitions I'd like to um, mention are two committee members who have served our troop for a few years. First is Jim Lee. He's been our advancement chair for five years and he's uh, going to be stepping down at the end of this year and so we're looking to fill that position. Uh, secondly is Julie Swartz. She's been our troop committee for three years um, and about since October of uh, 2018. She's been our treasurer for a little over two years. She's been our treasurer and she's going to be stepping down also. Um, Bethany Jablonski has been our chartering org representative for many years, and she's going to uh, take on the treasurer role. Um, that's a committee position as chartering org rep, um, but she'll be taking on the, the treasurer role. So we're looking for um, the advancement chair. So we've got treasurer covered. And then we're looking for a chartering organization representative. So the requirement there is that you be a member of the organization of uh, St. Francis Parish. So if you're interested in, in being that person, you would be the liaison between the, uh, the church and the troop. If there were certain issues or, or things needed to be addressed, um, they would know who to get a hold of. You would be that, that voice, uh, the middle person between the two organizations. Um, finally, we need to... Um, complete our youth protection training. There's a few scouts or scouters rather that need to complete youth protection training. Um, it's good to renew. It's, it's good for two years um, and it's got very good information. It does take about an hour and a half, an hour and 20 minutes maybe to complete the training. 
it comes in uh, three different modules, so you can you can do it at you know at a certain pace if you want to do it module by module. Um, and parents, if you're interested in finding out what the youth protection programs are for the troop, um, either ask me. I can tell you what what the the rules are, or if you want to take the training yourself, you can go to um, my.scouting.org, um, create a user ID, log in. Um, there's lots of training on that website, plus the protection training. Feel free to, um, if you want to just take it and be certified, that's, that's good. If you ever wanted to spend, um, I think starting this year, if you want to um, spend more than three days at camp, um, I believe you're going to have to be trained anyway. So that's something. So that is uh, that concludes our court of honor for for this year. Um, thank you for tuning in and if you have any questions or something came up that you wanted to talk about, just feel free to contact me. Thank you. Bye.